Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. The helps you in this world. And we're just stopping in, stopping by. I want to chew a little something. I want to chop up some little stuff. We got Chris. <clears throat> and we got Chase. Now, I went over there and I tried to talk to them. All of this is in my mind. Keep in mind, it's all in my mind. But I went over there to talk to the dudes about uh, what I had heard uh, on them YouTube streets as well as on In People magazine. I was asking him, meaning uh, Chris. I said, uh, Chris. Um, his name's Chris. That's what I'm talking about. But we call him Todd. Todd over here. Kind of remind me of little Todd. Tiny little Todd, Tim Tucker. Todd Tucker. But anyway, I just, I just had to go straight to the point. So, um, I heard that you were going to be doing an interview uh, through People Magazine and you're going to let your son shape. Um, the questions, and he was going to not only ask you the soft question, he was going to ask you the hard question. And I just want to stop by a friend and tell you, you know, I sure damn mind. I mean, I know you did a white collar crime, you know, it's just a little pat on the forehead, a little pat in the chest, and you're going to go to a little country club type of, uh, wait, sit down and do your time and you probably just do two years if it's that. It's almost like you're out on a retreat. It's not in a general population. It's not in prison. It's not where you really need to be Chris. And you know this. Okay? You did some fraudulent stuff. You know, you really did some horrible stuff. And you tried to cover it up. And you tried to lie about it. And look at, look at, look at. Here comes Cookie. It still came out. Now, technically, should have been fine for Julie not to go to the Bush jailhouse. Even though we know where she's going, it's going to be the same place where you're going. But my deal is, if you were really a man, you would say, well, okay, she gets two years, I'm getting two years. I was going to do four years with the host just doing two years. You could have cut a deal like that. But I don't know. Maybe they're still in the work. But boy, when I saw on People Magazine that she was going to let Chase of all people. And you know for a fact they had gay rumors on you, Todd. They had gay rumors on Chris. I mean, Chase. And it hadn't been, you know, it hadn't been talked about. hadn't been worked out. hadn't been told to the people that, no, that's not what it is. And I am not. And we know your sister right now. She ain't going to take no mess off you. I don't know if that's Savannah or is that... Emmy, not Emmy, it's your girlfriend, Chase, but Lindsay, I think, the other sister's name. Uh, but they ain't finna take no bull off with their parents. They'll keep their parents in jail if they can get on the fortune. I said, you know that about your kid. They all about self. And you see, you got all this stuff on you. This on tax affairs, identity theft, phone scams, phishing scams. All of this dealing with the IRS, you know you can't bring down the government. You cannot bring down the Internal Revenue Service that can shit all of your accounts down. Unless you got them on offshore accounts, you know, Cayman Islands or, you know, places like that where there's no jurisdiction and um, there's no preventing you from putting your money out of the country so you can get it when you got to go somewhere you know, on the run, something like that. So. I was floored. I was like, no, nah, so you're doing the wrong thing. You might mess up and say the wrong thing. And then you, you ain't going to have a life, Chase, because uh, Emmy going to be gone. That's Emma right there. She don't know what to do. Okay? And I think that's Lindsay, the other daughter of the Chris Lee. But 
Uh, you know, just let me go over what People Magazine had a chance. I know about you, dude. And it wasn't good. It was spicy stuff just to sell the paper. But it wasn't good. Man, we had Dory Jackson bring it out on your behind. And she titled it Todd Princely, promising nothing is off limits, and only sit down before he and Julie head to prison. And it was brought to us on the third. Yeah, it was. Uh, it says on the latest episode of the Chrisley Confessions podcast, the Chrisley knows best star reveal he would, he would only be participating in one interview before he reports to prison. And his son, Chase Chrisley, will be doing the honors sometime next week. Even though his 26-year-old son will be tasked with conducting the interview, Todd, since his pretty, promised that he will still answer all of those hard questions. He also knows his son is fully capable of handling the task. I said, yeah. Are these going to be well thought out questions he's going to ask you? Because, you know, he can't even keep the rumors off him that he's gay. He's supposed to be dating Emmy. Yeah, that's Emmy right there. And you couldn't even keep it together to keep your lie intact. You got caught. So now you finna say Chase went behind the ears just because of him and uh, Savannah got a podcast. You think they're going to answer the questions that they really want to ask you? No, they're not going to do that, Chris. And it's, it's a very thin line with you trying, you and Tina trying to put y'all hope in y'all situation that y'all got going on in the government and the eyes of the law. And you're going to leave it to your son to ask you questions. You know, I already know you got to give up $9 million. I mean, one of them houses got to go. <laughs> yes, one of those houses got to go. And you owe it. You owe it back to those people who scam. And they're going to want their money. And they ain't going to step no installments. They want all their money. You see, I'm going to let like Chase do an interview. Interview you on something serious like this. Lord have mercy, that's all I can say. Lord have mercy. And people rap magazine, I'm sure they got it from you. You or you the chase. And you sitting up there telling them that you're looking forward to that interview. Not because it's going to be a softball interview, he said by the conversation with Chase. You have said I am allowed to ask all the hard questions. And I said, You can ask me anything from your dad. But your dad don't lost your mind. He might implicate you for his over with. Hey, so you better watch him. You better watch mine. But anyway, going back to what people magazine wrote up, this Todd said the interview would be set up as a Q&A, questions and answers for fans, questions to be included in the mix. You are going to be doing this interview with me next week, he continued. He said, oh, Chase, nothing is off limits. It's a no holds barred interview. Chase pointed out how there will be some uncomfortable questions, and if and asked of his father, but Todd clarified, it's not uncomfortable for us because we know the truth. But the truth don't got you in trouble, so it must be a lot, Chris. It must be a lot, Todd. And y'all just want to throw this to the wind where it can go either way and possibly add more time to the sentence if they catch you in a lie? Okay. Other people that want to interview me might say, I know this is probably an uncomfortable question. No, we're good with the truth being added to the not uncomfortable for us. Now, see, they already got, it, got you written up in the article saying you were convicted on fraud and tax evasion. Charges in 20, 2022, June, alongside your wife, Judy. Both of y'all were sentenced to 16 years of probation that November, though Todd received 12 years in prison, while Judy, 49, was sentenced to 7 years. And to me, I don't care. And you know what the people going to say. Y'all need more time than that, and y'all need to go serve in a uh, correctional institution that have a general population. We should not have a white collar crime and a blue collar crime, and just for the poor people, type of crime, or uh, days and, and years y'all are gonna get. No, it should fit the crime. And you get a lot of stuff that puts you on the radar of the IRS people. So that means something was valuably wrong. It was costing somebody a lot of money and a lot of heartache. <sighs> I really wish you would think this through. I really wish you would think this through and not put yourself out there on front street again. But 
Oh, I hate it. Looks so bad as long as I have it. Oh, I hate it. Makes it so soft. Blah. But anyway, finishing up on the story. Uh, the long time couple. They're telling you, talking about you and your wife. Wed in 1996, and they are both set to prison in Florida on January 17th. However, they are in the process of building their case. Recently, their daughter, Lindsay, is the attorney. Well, I don't know something like that. Oh, people would potentially happen for Todd and Julie during their appeal process. The legal process should be if a new trial was ordered, they would have to go through the whole process again, he said. If there was an issue that was incorrect, it can be sent back to be corrected. Typically, the appellate panel would make a decision, make a ruling, and sometimes send it back down to enforce um, that rule. And of course, just to give you a uh, contrast and comparison, uh, T, uh, what's her name? Cardi B had sued Tashi K for some millions for defamation of character and ruin, ruining her character in the public eye, social media, and whatnot, on the false allegations that Tasha made against her. Well, Tasha tried to appeal through the appellate court, and she did all that, and they still sided with the first ruling. Which was it pay part of me. And possibly take all down those videos, videos that she was slandering her name and defamating her character. Okay? Or defaming her character. So I I, I think you should rethink it, Greg. That's what I mean. I wouldn't put all of that stuff or stock up in my son trying to make me look good. I was talking about the case and this, that, and third. If you don't do what you want to do, okay? But don't say that and then come out of hell and try to in the street. That's all I gotta say. My conscience is clear. I try to talk to you. You still want to be gone home and do these things? You go right on ahead. I just, um, I just excuse myself out. Mm -hmm. I put myself on out the house because one of these houses got to go. That's all I gotta say. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye bye.